Quora marketing do's and don'ts. Do's. Stick to questions and answers in your niche. Limiting your scope to answering questions in your niche is the safest way to really demonstrate your knowledge about your target industry and to establish authority. Participate regularly and consistently. It is important that you stay active by answering questions regularly, if possible at a fixed time of the day. This will help you increase brand recall among readers who see your answers regularly in their feed. Be genuine. Being open about who you are, whether you're using Quora as a personal brand or company, as well as about why you are actually qualified to answer questions in your niche, makes it easier for Quora users to know you're a real authority and not a spammer. Use stories in your answers. Quora users respond better to answers that read like stories, which means that it is important that you provide an anecdote or a testimonial to illustrate the point of your answer. This way, users will feel encouraged to check your answers every time, even if only for the entertainment value of storytelling. Be informative. When answering a question or contributing with a reply, focus on being informative instead of promotional. Only do brand mentions when necessary. Be visual. Quora answers that include images attract more replies and views than answers without them. So, it is important that you include an image as long as it fits the context of your answer. Learn who's reading your answers. We recommend you to always check your views page to check the credentials and profile of the people that are reading your answers. This will help you to know what type of user is consuming your content so you can better refine your answers to their niche. Create a brand voice. It is crucial that you create a brand voice, a unique and recognizable way of replying to questions. This will allow your brand to stand out on the platform. Use the editing tools. Formatting your answers the right way is vital to establish authority, so learn to use the editing tools available when you compose an answer or question. Be original. Before composing an answer or question, we recommend you to use the search bar to find out previous answers to similar questions on the same topic. That way, you will be able to identify missing information that you can add to the conversation, as well as to craft more original responses. Don'ts. Don't steal your answers. Never use content from other sources as the literal answer to a question. Duplicate content is not tolerated by Quora or the Quora community. Don't be off-topic. Avoid commenting or replying to a question if you don't have anything valuable to add to the conversation. After all, Quora is not a forum or board. Don't give black or white answers. Don't reply to a question with a simple answer with a black or white statement or with a yes or a no. Be mindful about your answers and try to write over 250 words for each. Don't use calls to action. Don't encourage people to click on any link with a call to action, as this is seen as spam. Instead, drop links as additional resources to the answer you are providing so people can follow them from the content naturally. Don't sleep on questions. You have to reply to questions as quickly as possible. Otherwise, you risk someone else providing an answer that gets upvoted until it's on top, which will leave you with no chance of participating in a relevant way. Don't be insulting. No matter how silly a question might sound, never respond with sarcasm or arrogance, and never be condescending. Remember that your answers represent your brand. Don't use Quora to do sales pitches. Never try to pitch a product or service through an answer. Instead, mention the product or service to illustrate a point in your answer, but don't use it as the focus of your reply. Don't use a misleading identity. Use your legal or business identity when you join Quora. Using a misleading identity can significantly hurt your brand. Don't spam. Don't reply with answers that are simply intended to drive traffic to your website or any other external URL. The intention is obvious to users and goes against Quora rules. Don't violate intellectual property on the platform. It is important that you get permission from creators and to credit authors when using or citing others in your answers. Because of this, 
we recommend you to use images from stock image sites and to always provide original answers.